I'm excited about this video because I'm gonna show you how to make a bookmark that you could sell as a digital or physical product. In addition, I'm also gonna be showing you how to create a mock-up as well. Now, this is a series of videos that I have started where I share the entire process of creating various digital products that you could sell on Etsy or any other platforms. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing I want you to do is that if you have a digital product in mind that you would like me to create, go ahead and like this video and leave a comment below. Additionally, please check out the description box where I have provided a list of videos featuring various digital products that you can learn to create right now. As you can see, there are many Etsy shops that are selling bookmarks in the form of a digital product and making a killing with them. And the best part that they're super easy to create. So let's head over to Canva to start the process. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. And the first thing you wanna do is head over to Canva and click on create a design, custom size. You're gonna change pixels to inches and we're gonna do two in width and six in height. This is the size that I found that most Etsy sellers are selling their bookmarks. So here is your blank Canva. Now, the first thing that you want to do is if you're using elements from Canva, make sure that you read the licensing to make sure that you could use them to sell on other platforms. But what I like to do is just buy my own licensing from sites like Creative Market and upload them to Canva to use. I feel like that's a safer bet for me. I have a license. I don't have to worry about issues later on. You also want to make sure that you're following the licensing issue, that your final product is very different to what you purchase. So my recommendation to make something very unique and different, that one, your final product is different, but two, other people can copy you, is to take pieces of different clip arts from different artists and put them together and create something that's unique and one of a kind. So this is going to be solely for the example of how to create a bookmark. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color this background and I'm going to change it to like a little brown color like that one there. I like that. And I'm going to add this layer right on top. So let's go ahead and stretch it out. I do like how that looks. I mean, literally, I just created a bookmark. Look how beautiful that is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a page. And I'm going to change this background to like a lighter pink. And I'm going to add this layer here. And this is just me showing you the process of how to create it. Obviously, you want to be creative. Um, take your time with it. And here we have two bookmarks that are beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and create my last one. I'm going to change this background to something different. Let's do maybe... Uh, this pinkish here, oh, that looks very similar to the first one. Let's do this one here. I'm going to go back to my clip art and I'm going to add this one. I think that one actually looks really, really pretty. And I'm going to try to make it a little bigger. So I do like how it looks like that. You can obviously move it around. And what you could do is you could click on this plus sign to duplicate it. And then you could just flip it right over. So right here, you could just flip it. And you can make it matchy if you want, or you could just have like a different side of the clip art. I'm going to make it matchy. I like stuff that matches. I think it actually looks really, really beautiful. Now to make my pieces a little bit more unique as well, I'm going to add text to them. So I'm going to go ahead and add text to this one. So I'm going to click on T for text and I'm going to type the quote bloom where you are planted. This is an example. Make sure that if you are using any type of quote is a quote that you could use because some quotes are copyrighted and you can use especially lyrics and stuff like that. So just make sure that you're mindful about that. This is just an example. So here we go. I'm going to change the text to something different. And I like this one. This text is or this um, font is called lovely. And it's one that I often use in some of my projects that I do and I'm going to go ahead and add an effect. So click on effect. I'm going to add an outline. I'm going to make the thickness of the outline a little bigger and I'm going to change the color of the outline to something that stands out. So that stands out to me. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and look at how beautiful this bookmark already is. 
And let's say that you're happy. You're happy with all three. You did something that's different. Your final project looks good. Once you're happy with these, there are a few, a few options that you could do when you're going to go ahead and upload them on Etsy or any other platform. You could upload them like this, like individual files. And you could say, let's say that you named this one bookmark one, right? And you could go ahead and download. My recommendation is to download it as a PDF. The reason for that is because Canva doesn't offer a PNG file or JPEG file in 300 dollars per inches. But when you save it as a PDF print, it will save as a 300 dollars per inches. At the end of the day, you want a high quality file for your customers. So you could do it this way where you could just go ahead and download each individual file like this. And this is what you would give to the customer if you're going to sell, sell them individually. You could also add all three in, in a US letter size so they could print them all together. So this is how it looks. You could inspect it just to make sure that it looks nice and crispy. As you can see, it looks really nice, high quality. I'm not worried about it. It looks beautiful. So that's one way that you could save the file. The second way is to go ahead and download all the files. And let's go ahead and I'll download this one now. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And when you download them, all three, what I recommend is doing it as a PNG and then downloading all of them three, because then you're going to save it as a print. So I'll go ahead and download them all as PNGs and wait for it to download. It's going to download in a zip folder. And when it does, you're going to go ahead and double click on that, on that zip folder. And it's going to give you access to all of the files in here, as you can see. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload all three files, drag them and drop them right here. Automatically they're right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on home. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on create design custom size. I'm going to go to inches and I'm going to do a US letter size, which is 8.5 by 11 in height. And I'm going to, it's going to open up to this new window here. Now from here, I'm going to go back to uploads where you will see all three designs and I'm just going to drag them and drop them here. This is probably going to be the best bet when you're selling multiple designs in one same listing, because it just makes it easier for the customer when they're going to go ahead and print it out to save paper and just makes it a lot easier for them. As you can see, all three designs fit pretty perfectly. And from here, all you would do, all you will need to do is name your file bookmark download it, and then you would download it as a PDF print. So you, so you could get the high quality. And that's all you would need to do. This is what you will give the customer as the file for them to go ahead and print out and download. And let's go ahead and look at it really quickly. As you can see, it looks really, really good. It's easy for them to know where they need to cut it and it's good to go. Now, let me show you how to create mockups. All right. So for the mockups, I normally do my pictures in a square. So I would go ahead and click on create a design and then custom size. And then I'm going to keep it in pixel and I'm going to do 2000 by 2000. As long as it's a one by one a ratio, it doesn't matter if you're doing 1080 by 1080 or 2000 by 2000 or a different size. Now that I have here my, my blank Canva, I'm going to go ahead and upload these mockups here. So I'm going to do the first one. And what I like to do is add shadows in the background. So the way, that way it doesn't look like a flat image. And how you do that is that you select the image that you're working on. You click on edit and go ahead and click on shadows. Now this is a feature if you are playing, paying for the camera pro. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to add shadows. I like this one here. You could play with the blurred amount, the size of shadow that you want, but I have mine set already and I like this amount here. So as you can see, it looks more of a tangible product when you have it that way. I'm going to do the same for the additional files. I'm going to make sure that they all kind of center size, the same size. And I'm going to pick the photo, edit shadow and click on glow. And then I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger to kind of fit the other one or kind of match the other one. As you can see, it looks pretty, pretty good. Just make sure that they're all kind of the same size. I'm going to do the same for the last one here. 
I'm going to edit the photo, shadows, glow, and there goes my shadow. It looks really nice. And one thing I like to do is kind of like make them twist like this. You could put this one in the middle probably, and then put this one on the side over here. You could play around with where you want this one in positioning. If you want that, if you want that one forward, I like it in the in the front. And then I would probably put this one on the back, this one here, and then like that. And then what I would do is you could even change the background color. You could do your branding colors if you have yours set up. Uh, I'm gonna do it here. I like that, but it goes too much with this one. So I want something a little bit. There you go, I think that's actually pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of text up here. So I'm gonna say bookmark for plant lovers, right? Maybe that would be the name of it. And then maybe I'll change the, the text. I think that actually looks really nice like that. And this is how you would create your mock-ups. Now keep in mind, this could be the first mock-up that you create with all three of them here. And then your second photo could be a mock-up of just the product itself, right? Just one of them. So you could have it this way, you could turn it this way if you want, but you could just have the product by itself, kind of like make it a little bit bigger and then go ahead and do the same thing with the shadows. And you could add some text on the side of it. You could talk about what size it is, uh, what comes included, how to print them out, et cetera. Little, you know, facts about it. But it's really simple. Try not to overcomplicate it. But as you can see, this looks really nice. And this is how you could create mockups using Canva. So there you have it. How simple it is to create bookmarks using Canva. Thank you for watching and be sure to watch these next videos where I show you how to create additional digital products.